welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about regression. Now the word regression means the act of returning or going back to the average value. Firstly, it was observed that while all tall fathers have tall sons and all short fathers have short sons, the average height of sons of tall fathers is less than that of the fathers and the average height of sons of short fathers is greater than that of the fathers. This tendency to regress or go back towards the average of the population was described as regression. Now regression also helps us to predict the value of one variable or the dependent variable from that of the other independent variable. Therefore, the statistical methods which helps us to estimate or predict The unknown value of one variable from the known value of the related variable is called regression. Therefore, the tendency to regress or you can say the tendency of going back to the average value is called A regression and the line describing this tendency is called a regression line. Now in the present case, we use the word regression line to denote that line which gives best possible estimates of the values of one variable for a given values of the other variable. That's why it is called the line of best fit. That is, the regression line is also called the line of best fit. So we can write Determining the line of regression means determining the line of best fit. Now let us discuss the method of calculating. Now in this method, we plot the given data as a
scatter diagram and then draw a smooth curve approximating the data. So this is called the freehand method of curve fitting. But this method is not used in actual practice as this method has a disadvantage that it depends on individual judgment and different observers will obtain different curves and equations. And therefore, the decision of a person will affect the result. Now let us discuss the method of least squares. Now the regression lines are also constructed by least square method. Now in this method, A regression line is fitted to different points in such a way that the sum of the squares of deviations of the observed values should be least from the fitted line. Now from this diagram, consider vertical distances D1, D2, D3, D4 and so on up to Dn drawn from each point x1, y1, x2, y2 x3, y3, x4, y4 and so on up to x n, y n to this curve. Now these distances will be positive or negative according to whether the points that is these points are above or below the curve. Now consider the squares of these values and their sum. So consider d1 square plus d2 square plus d3 square plus d4 square plus so on up to dn square. Now the measure of the goodness of fit of the curve to the given data is provided by this quantity. That is, if this quantity is small, then the fit is good. And if the sum of the squares, that is, d1 square plus d2 square and so on up to dn square is large then the fit is bad. Therefore we can write of all curves approximating A given set of points 
that is a given set of data points of curve having the property that d1 square plus d2 square plus so on up to dn square is minimum is called a best fitting curve. And a curve having this property is said to fit the data in the least square sense and is called a least square curve. Or we can say the regression curve. And a line having this property is called a least square line. Now let us discuss the line of regression. Now a line of regression is the straight line which gives the best fit in the least square sense to the given sets of data. Now we know about the best fitting curve. Now in case when this best fitting curve is a straight line, it is called a line of best fit or a line of regression. And the regression is said to be linear. Now there are two lines of regression. First of all, let us discuss the first term that is the line of regression of y on x. Now if the line of regression is so chosen that the sum of the squares of deviations parallel to the axis of y is minimized, then it is called the line of regression of y on x. So here the line AB is so chosen that the sum of the squares of the deviations parallel to the axis of y is minimized. That is, these deviations such as Ps, which are parallel to the axis of y. This means that these deviations are the change in the y-coordinate as here the x-coordinate is remaining the same and for the value of x1, we are getting two values of y, that is y1 and y2. So this change in the y coordinate will give us the deviation ps and similarly we can get other deviations also. So the sum of the squares of these deviations are minimized for this line ab and it is called the line of regression of y on x and the algebraic form of the line of regression is y is equal to mx plus t where m represents that is the coefficient of x represents the regression coefficient of y on x that is dy x And the regression equation of y on x gives the best estimated value of y For the given value of x. 
Now the regression line of y on x passes through the point x bar y bar that is the mean. So its equation is given as y minus y bar is equal to b by x into x minus x bar the whole where b by x is the regression coefficient of y on x. And x bar is the mean value of x, y bar is the mean value of y. Now let us discuss the line of regression of x on y. Now if the line of regression is so chosen that the sum of the squares of deviations parallel to the axis of x is minimized, then it is called the line of regression of x on y. So here the line AB is so chosen that the sum of the squares of deviations parallel to the axis of x is minimized. That is, these deviations such as Ps and some other deviations like Ps which are parallel to the x-axis and Ps is the change in the x-coordinate as this deviation is parallel to the x-axis and here the y-coordinate is remaining as it is. So, for the value y1 of y, we are getting two values of x, that is x1 and x2. And this change in the x-coordinate will give the deviations which are parallel to the x-axis. And for the line AB, the sum of the squares of these deviations which are parallel to the axis of x is minimized and it is called the line of regression of x and y. And the algebraic form of the line of regression is x is equal to m y plus t where the coefficient of y that is m represents the regression coefficient of x and y. That is bxy. Now the regression line of x on y gives the best estimate of x for any given value of y. Also, the regression line of x and y passes through the point x bar y bar, that is the mean. Therefore, its equation is given as x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole, where bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y. Now the regression line of y on x passes through the point x bar y bar and the regression line of x on y also passes through the point x bar y bar that is the mean. Therefore, we can say both regression equations passes through the point x bar y bar. Therefore, this is the point that is x bar y bar is the point of intersection of the two lines of regression. Now, let us discuss the regression lines and correlation. 
Now, if the two lines of regression, when plotted on a graph paper coincide, then there is a perfect correlation between the two series. Now here, yeah, let us see the example 1 and 2. In the first part, the lines of regression of x and y and y on x coincide and these two slope upward. So here r is equal to plus 1, that is the coefficient of correlation is equal to plus 1. And there is a perfect positive correlation between the two series. Now in the second part, the two lines of regression coincide and the slope downward. So here the coefficient of correlation R is minus 1. And there is a perfect negative correlation between the two series. Now the greater the angle between the lines, the lesser is the correlation between the two series and vice versa. Now in the third part, there is a very small angle between the two lines of regression and both of these lines slope upward. So we can say it is a high degree positive correlation. Now in the fourth part also there is a small angle between the two lines of regression and both of them slope downward so it is a high degree negative correlation. Now in the fifth part, there is a very large angle between the two lines of regression. So it is a low degree positive correlation. And in the next part, there is also a large angle between the two lines of regression and both of them slope downward. So this is a low degree negative correlation. And if they cut, that is, if the two lines of regression cut each other at right angles, then there is no correlation between them. So in the seventh part, the two lines of regression cut each other at right angles. So here R is equal to 0 and there is no correlation between them. So in this session, we have learned about the regression, then regression lines and correlation. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.